What does the reporting, what does the zeitgeist right now in the West get wrong on Ukraine? Well, for the moment, first, uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> for the moment, uh, of course, uh, uh, we face a very, a very serious crisis. We are, uh, everybody is very much worried here about the risks of uh, this major crisis in the heart of Europe. And uh, uh, we must uh, uh, combine uh, firmness and uh, obviously uh, keep uh, the channels open. Uh, we are doing that as friends, friends having the presidency of the Council of the European Union right now, with our foreign ministers meeting again uh, of the 27 countries. We uh, are indeed uh, very, very keen to keep a very close consultation with the United States uh, and between all the formats engaged, uh, OSC, but also EU, as I said, and mm -hmm. NATO and the United States, and also uh, to continue our work together with Germany in the so-called Normandy format to work with Ukraine and with Russia uh, to right. continue our work to <clears throat> find a solution to the crisis in eastern Ukraine. You were experienced in moving French citizens out of a crisis in Georgia. Georgia, of course, part of the Soviet Union. You've had a tangible hand-on experience. What should be the presentation to Mr. Putin to have him find a stability instead of an invasion of Ukraine? What is the distinction that you believe will change Mr. Putin's tone and rhetoric and action? First, we must uh, deter him from uh, any aggression uh, by clearly indicating that any aggression would uh, uh, have as a consequence very, very serious consequences. And then, as I said, we must also, as the US, as the Europeans are doing, uh, keep the channel open to discuss uh, how uh, we have uh, uh, the possibility, using uh, instruments of diplomacy, uh, to solve this uh, crisis also uh, in, in view of a longer-term basis, which is uh, to, re to rebuild the instruments of uh, European security. Uh, so many treaties have been abandoned in the recent years. We have this to rebuild now. How much daylight is there between uh, the French approach to dealing with diplomacy and the U.S. approach right now? As I said, the French approach is not to deal with diplomacy only. It's also a clear uh, uh, indication uh, on the European side that we uh, will take the measures uh, to face uh, and to answer any aggression. Uh, so it's, uh, it's this dual approach where I do not see differences between the Europeans and the Americans. Uh, Ambassador, going forward, there is also a lot of tension, though, in the European Union because of the bifurcated economic recoveries after the pandemic. How much has this been a discussion as France has enjoyed a faster recovery than many other European regions? France, indeed, has a... a, a regained its position, the position of this, its economy it had be, be before the pandemics. Uh, our f economic and finance minister had just forecast a 4% growth next year. And uh, as an uh, economist, the economist Paul Krugman wrote in a recent uh, uh, column, the uh, labor market is, uh, is, uh, has not been disrupted because we have taken measures, by the way, not only in France, I think, but in Europe. But in particular in France, as we have seen last Monday, a week ago, our economy remains very attractive. Uh, 21 uh, important investors, including 11 American companies, have committed uh, to invest 4.5 billion uh, in, uh, in the French economy and to create 10,000 jobs, which means that the attractiveness of our economy is indeed quite strong. What does the French image in Europe mean in terms of military hardware sales to Ukraine. Germany seems so reticent, and not on a simplistic nature, but with Airbus expertise and with jet engineering expertise that everyone understands uh, is world class. We'll avoid submarines with Ukraine with great respect, Ambassador. But tell <laughs> me what France can signal by, sell by selling French engineering to the people of Ukraine. Uh, well, 
it's not new that we have our a strong uh, economic uh, relationship uh, with Ukraine. Uh, um, so uh, we, we we intend to, to continue to, to support Ukraine as we have been doing uh, until now, of course. I have to ask you one question on COVID. There's been such a an uproar within the United Kingdom and America over Omicron and all. Give uh, Lisa Bramowitz wants an update on Paris in April, in terms of Omicron. How are you doing? Uh, the Omicron variant had, like in the U.S., a very strong surge uh, recently, uh, or, and we we hope. Um, it, it is uh, now having its peak. Uh, of course, as a consequences uh, in terms of health, uh, intensive care units uh, uh, was uh, the consequences were not that uh, serious as uh, before because people are mm -hmm. vaccinated a lot and the new vaccination pass uh, is uh, coming into force today. Uh, so right. there was a, a very very strong uh, policy in France to have uh, uh, everybody being vaccinated. And uh, well, I think it worked quite well.